road again. We're heading for the Cambridgeshire Norfolk uh, border, just across the border into Norfolk, because we're visiting Welney Wildlife and Wetlands Trust today. And here we are, we're just leaving the car park and heading for the really impressive visitor centre. Welney was opened in 2006. It really is a beautiful, it's a little bit chilly day today. Just climb the first set of steps, or there is a lift. It brings you to this shop, all sorts of goodies in it, and uh, you also buy your entrance tickets from here. And you head down the corridor, past the excellent cafeteria. Nobody in here at the moment, but you can have breakfast here or lunch or whatever you want. Come to uh, yet another set of steps, takes you up two levels. There's also a lift, it's excellent uh, disabled access here. This brings you out onto a viewing platform that you can look out over the fields there. And then it's over this very impressive bridge. And every so often there's a lookout port and uh, all down the left hand side there there's several hides but we're going to concentrate on the two main hides here today. Just head down the, the boardwalk here and this hide is a real state of the art luxury hide, bird watching in luxury. These huge panoramic windows that look out over the washes but we'll check that out later in more detail. usually like to check out this conventional hide first. It's a huge hide but uh, it has conventional windows that you can actually open so let's have a look out and see what's out there. Well as you can see it's a glorious day, a beautiful glittering autumn day but uh, pretty cold. There's a chill wind blowing across the water and a good cross-section of wild fowl on view and the star species of course the Hooper swan majority of the birds that arrive here in the UK in the autumn and winter here are from Iceland. They make this incredible flight which is around 1,500 uh, kilometres approximately to here at Welney but they do fly into uh, lots of other places uh, here in the UK. They also get Buick swans here at Welney which is a very similar bird but uh, a little bit smaller and stockier with uh, different bill markings. There's much more black on the beak. The black travels further up the beak than it does a hooper swan. But there's none here at the moment. They're still waiting for them to arrive. The hooper swan is much more elegant, has more yellow on the beak. Let's have a look at uh, what else we can see here. There's uh, pochard and widgeon, coot, moorhen, and mute swans here too. And looking way out, we've got some grey lag. And that's the white breast of a shoveler by the look of it. And also, of course, mallard. Big group of a mallard just been startled. So uh, nothing to worry about. There's the guy who feeds them. A lot of birds further out have just been sent up, but uh, I think it's more to do with a marsh harrier that's uh, on the hunt out there. But uh, it's not long before the swans start to come back in again to feed on the grain. Okay, this is the bust of Sir Peter Scott, the founder of the Wildlife and Wetlands Trust. And as you can see, we've come into the warmth of the main hide here. This information board shows you the incredible routes the swans take on their migration. And there's all sorts of interesting information and artefacts on the three types of swan you get here at uh, Welney. And this uh, timeline here shows you... Uh, what happens during the four seasons here at Welney. And lots of information about the seasonal movements of the swans. Well, I mentioned bird watching in luxury. And uh, look at this, you can even sit in leather armchairs or sofas to look at the uh, wonderful spectacle through these beautiful panoramic windows. And there's all sorts of uh, things you at disposal to identify the birds, including binoculars and scopes. As you can see, it really is a fantastic height, uh, really good for photography and filming too. Obviously, don't usually like to film through glass, but the, the glass is so good and clear here, it doesn't really make any difference. I mentioned earlier that there was a 
a marsh harrier about in there. She is, it's a female. The young birds uh, look very similar to females, only where the female has a cream cap, the youngsters have a much more orangey uh, cap. But this is a female. And as she quarters over the washes there, she's sending the widgeon up. That's a better view of her shoveler. And also we've got much better views of these birds. These are potchard. These are males, distinctive red eye. And this is a female. And potchards actually have a red status with the RSPB. We have between 350 and 630 pairs breed in the UK. There's about 48,000 birds winter here. The hoopers can be identified by their beak markings. There's no two beaks with the same markings. Here's a coot just below us, out of the water. You can see those huge, wide, splayed toes. Something's just sent the ducks up again, and it's the female marsh harrier, which is quartering up and down the uh, stretch of the washes there. You can see the uh, distinctive uh, cream cap quite clearly there. We're quite lucky uh, locally. A lot of the times we go out we do see marsh harriers but they are quite rare. They're actually rarer than golden eagles. There are more golden eagles in Scotland than marsh harriers in the whole of the UK. And they have an amber status. Just spotted a very small wader in among the witch in there. Not sure but it's not a good view. I think it must be a dunlin. Also got some blacktail godwit out there. Not that many though. Usually get um, quite large flocks here and uh, the marsh harrier is now being mobbed by a, a carrion crow. Crows can be a bit of a nuisance when you're trying to film uh, birds of prey. And uh, the harrier has just sent a small flock of lapwing into the air. Just notice this duck by the edge of the water there. It's very much like a tufted duck, but it's not. It's actually a scorp. And uh, believe it or not, I've never filmed, or I don't think I've seen a scorp before. This is a female. So that's uh, excellent. And it brings an excellent morning's bird watching and filming to a close here. And uh, definitely won't be long before we're back here at Welney, a little bit later in the winter. See you next time.